Hello and good evening. Welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. And today's Mental Stimulus Update, we're going to be talking about auto parts stores and whether what you get from them is good or not. We're going to we're going to do a base comparison off of uh, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, and Napa. And basically, what I've the research I've done has shown that Napa pays more, basically pays twice as much for the exact same part as the other places do. Well, with the exceptions of AutoZone. AutoZone actually uses Duralast products, which are, are actually pretty expensive, but they're also pretty good. So our base comparison is going to be off of Advanced Auto Parts and Napa. I do have a, I do, I did shoot a video of me showing you the different pages and the different prices for the exact same products because they're basically all the exact same products so you can check it out for yourself but if you notice in my video that it does show that Napa's uh, price for um, brake pads that are semi-metallic are $13 more plus tax than advanced auto parts are now why does Napa do this? because they want to take money from your pockets so basically, if you want a good, uh, if you want a good auto part, go to an auto part store that's not going to rip you off. I'm not saying Napa's is ripping you off, but come on, really? I mean, if you, if you when you see the brake pads, you'll see what I mean. In fact, you know what? Here, I'll show you the video right now. And as you can see by my screen that I'm showing you here, that if you look at this, we got. The Napa Performer Brake Pads Semi Metallic, they're charging you $32.99. And then you got the Napa Performer Brake Pads Semi, another, another semi metallic product for $17.99, right? Like I said, we're talking about why Napa overpays for their products, why they purposely overpay for their products. This, this is Napa, as you can see, it says on top of the screen, it says Napa. And we'll switch to the other screen right here. And if you look right here, bam, we got. The exact same brake pads on the top, the semi metallic brake pads for 20 bucks. And then we got the standard semi metallic brake pads on, for, um, on the bottom for 19.99. And if you look, the other one is like a two dollar savings for the smaller brake pads. With other brake pads, you're paying like 13 dollars more plus tax. So, I mean, how is that really, you know, I mean, is that even right to actually? to double to pay more for a product to make you pay more for it compared to the other ones here let, let, let's find another good spot to um show you let me see if I find it real quickly here hold on oh wait okay how about How about AutoZone, retail company? I find a store, parts. That's what they charge for brake pads. And if you look right here, you got the same thing. $26.99, $48.99. And these ones are supposed to be the Duralast brake pads. So I'm guessing Duralast is pretty good. So how about we go front um, we'll go for the search and go to metallic and let's see how much auto zones charging for semi metallics oh wow but they said but there's still Duralast so I mean and Duralast is also a good company but if you look, I mean, all the Duralast stuff is expensive as heck. And as you see, Advanced AutoZone, I mean, I don't think they have, they have Car Conquest standards. And Car Conquest, Car Conquest, Car Conquest. But if you look, I mean, $21.99, $32.99 for the um, some metallic brake pad, four pad set for lifetime replacement. Um... Part number MKD411. 
I can't make that part number up for Napa because it wouldn't work. Basically, like, this, this is the top brake pad right here. 1989 for Car, Car, Car Conquest standard semi metallic brake pads. And that's for that's for that's for advanced auto parts. And if you look at over here at Napa, the National Ass and Pussy Association, I mean um, National Auto Parts Association, basically the same brake pads you're paying, like I said, thirteen dollars more. Then we go over here to to AutoZone, and here you're paying a lot more. But these are also Duralast with a limited lifetime warranty, which means once they wear out, you're sort of screwed. But if you look, I mean. 40 bucks there, you got $33 there, $20 for advanced auto parts. See, 20 bucks right there for advanced auto parts. $33 for Napa. I mean, I can understand why they, that's probably the going price for these four brake pads is $39.99 from um, AutoZone because, like I said, Duralast is a good brake pad. So I can't use them as a base comparison. But still, we got. Car Conquest, and then we also got Napa Performer brake pads. These both the, the Napa Performer brake pads and the other semi-metallic brake pads from Advanced Auto Parts right here are the exact same brake pads. So why is Napa paying more money for this exact same part than the other companies are? Well, the simple answer is because the more they pay, the more you pay. So basically, unless we can actually put a stop to companies that overpay so they can actually make you pay more, then Napa is going to stick around and they're going to keep taking money from your wallet where you can just go to other auto, auto parts places and buy the exact same auto parts for less. And as you saw, Napa's uh, semi-metallic brake pads are $32.99 plus tax. Auto, uh, advanced auto parts are $19.99 plus tax and unfortunately I couldn't we can't really do a good base comparison for AutoZone because they're using Duralast products and Duralast are expensive brake pads so they're not really a good base comparison so as you notice just for advanced auto parts and Napa for the exact same brake pad you're paying $13 more for Napa's product than you are for advanced, auto, advanced auto parts now why do they charge you $13 more when uh, Advanced Auto Parts charges you $13 less? Well, to answer this question, you'd have to like, basically delve, dive deep into what Napa is trying to do. I mean, if, if you ever noticed, most of uh, Napa's products come from China. So they're getting you right there because if you remember earlier, some earlier um, mental stimulus updates, I talked about tariffs, which are duty taxes for imports and exports. So basically, Napa is hitting you for the tariff or the duty tax for them to export or import these brake pads from China. Now, and then also, the funny thing about that is, is they could also uh, claim that duty tax as a tax write-off, so it comes so. It, they pay less taxes so they're getting money on both ends of it they're getting money from you the $13 for the tariff fee as well as the the um tax write-off to actually write off that $13 so it doesn't affect them that much but like I said I mean this is just all supposition there's there's you have to take your own proven facts from basically what you find out this is the information I've come up with because I, I deal with Napa products all the time and I don't buy Napa products. I actually go to Advanced Auto Zone or sorry, Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone to get my, my car products because I'd rather have good products at a good price and not products at a high price. But like I said, this is just my supposition here. You don't have to take my word for it. In fact, I implore you to actually do the research for yourself to make sure that what you're paying, what you're getting is worth, 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 worth what you're paying compared to what you're paying is not worth what you're getting. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you guys within a day or two. So until then, you guys have to be safe. And I'll speak to you later. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling.
inside my bones You in the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee Let's ride and I'm 